Hello. So I'm getting ready to put some more postcards in the mail for our little create, build, learn experience that we're having at Hawking College. And what we'll be doing, we'll be focusing on AR, VR um, technologies with um, Sumerian Robotics with um, Robomaker, um, gaming, and IoT. So these are little digital badges that anybody who participates can earn. It's free, it's online, and um, and I think they're usually about 10 to 15 hours commitment for each one. It's not too long. So I'm getting the ready to mail those out, and I just want to show how to create an AWS Educate account, which is what you need to participate in this. So I'm going to go ahead and start by Googling AWS Educate. Okay, and it takes me to AWS Educate. It talks about Teach Tomorrow's Cloud um, Workforce Today. And I'm going to click Join AWS Educate. Let's see how far this lets me go before I hit a rub because I already have an account. So you click Join AWS Educate. And you can choose if you're a student, a veteran, a com company, a recruiter, an educator, or an institution. So, um, so all for the students who are going to be using this platform, they was obviously select a student. And this is open for all high schooler students, high school students. Um, I think that's probably the best age to get started in this. There's some things that might be um, okay within AWS Educate for younger students, but high school students are our target audience for this. So um, you would complete the information. Your school or institution name would be your um, high school. Your first name, your email needs to be your school email. Um, your birthday, country, da 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 da. Promo code, it's optional, don't worry about it. You can say you're not a robot, hit next. And it tends to take. I don't know, maybe two to three days for your account to get created on your email. Um, use your school email and I'm going to say provided by your institution, which would be your school. And so now what the problem that I've seen have has happened in the past is the school email has blocks on it um, or any kind of security settings where you're not allowed to receive emails from something like Amazon. So you may need to check with your I check with your IT people to make sure that that's not being blocked and that everything is being accessible so that the students are receiving the email. And let's go back a little bit. So if you were an educator, which is this is also open for educators and um, teachers. Go ahead and join. And educator. Again, your school's name, your email, your name, course level, um, high school or middle school or you know any other kind of whatever works for you. Um, the link to your class or school biography. Um, I guess you can just put your yeah your institution, your school's website. Um, the country, first name, department, um, the title, course numbers and name. Must um, list the name of a valid course that you're teaching this year for us to review in order to just receive an educator grant. I would just put something in there. Um, the name of your class should be fine. Um, you're receiving, I'm not really messed with the educator grant, so that might be something else. Your specialty promo code's optional, don't worry about it. Then you hit, I'm not a robot, hit next. And if your institution wants to apply, you saw that there was something for institution. Again, you know, your information, the phone number, institution size, um, grade levels, applicant information. Um, your name and all the other information saying I'm not a robot. So that's the first step in creating an AWS Educate account. I recommend getting that started prior to um, a few days, at least a few days prior to starting this, just because there is sometimes a bit of a waiting period for your um, account to be created and for you to have access. And it has happened before where students will need to send a copy of their um, school ID by email so usually I just have my students take a picture of it with their small with their um, phone and send it as an email 
and that's fine. Um, but yeah, so that's how you get set up with AWS Educate. If you have any questions, let me know and um, 